Hello, my name is Kip Sanders. I'm the president of Ready Response Training, and we're here today to introduce to you the Decon Interceptor 2 mobile decontamination system. This system was designed with the needs of the hospitals in mind. After doing training for hospital decontamination teams for a number of years, we identified a number of problems with uh, a tent-driven decontamination system. Some of those problems would be storage of the equipment. It can take a lot of room to store all the equipment that, uh, that is needed for this type of uh, situation. Then the equipment has to be moved from that storage area to the area that the decontamination um, corridor is going to be set up. Once the setup process begins, it can take five or six people an hour to get the whole system set up and deployed and operational. If you're a patient with uh, contamination on you, that's a long time. So we identified a number of those needs, and, and not only that, but you have the wind issues, where you know putting a tent down, you have to have a way to be able to fix it to the ground so it doesn't blow away during the during the process. So we're going to do a, a walkthrough of this system that we have developed to meet those different needs, and uh, we'll start at the front of the trailer. So on the front of the trailer, we have two 30-pound propane cylinders mounted. Those uh, provide propane for the, the furnace system as well as the hot water system. We also have exterior floodlights, 1,000 lumen LED floodlights that surround the trailer that provide a nice uh, cast of light out So for anybody who's working around the exterior of the trailer. So here we are on the left side of the trailer. We have the water and electrical connection hatch. Inside of here you'll find a pigtail for connecting to 110 volt extension cord. This will power all the exterior lights and the water heater in the system. You also have a pigtail for your water supply. A quick connect on it. Connect that in and you can hook your garden hose to here and then you have supply control shut off right there at the, at the garden hose. This is where you would also put in your blowout plug to blow down the system when you're coming into cold weather season. There's a strainer in here that's designed to take out very small particulate matter so we don't get that into the water heater. On the side we have the vent for the, the hot water furnace system, heater system. We have uh, two 1000 lumen exterior floodlights. So continuing on the left hand side at the rear, we have the water drainage system outlet. You can hook that up to a garden hose or you can hook that up to an RV type uh, system to run that uh, the gray water into your gray water bladder. We also have the jack mounting system or the leveling system that's on all four corners of the trailer. That helps to get a complete level of the system which is very important for drainage. As we come around here to the back side, once again, We've got uh, 12 volt LED uh, floodlights to, to light up the back ramp and the back work area. As we pull down the back ramp door, see we have a handrail in place. Handrails in place all the time. You don't have to worry about having to put that in place, store that. Drop the back flap. Put the front flap in place and within a few minutes we'll be ready to accept the patient. As we move around on the right side of the trailer, once again we have 12 volt, a 1000 lumen LED floodlights. We also have an exterior shower system in place so that if need be, you can set up an exterior decontamination corridor. You've got 50 foot of garden hose in place that you can use to either you to decontaminate your decon team or if you wanted to set up an, an, another non-ambulatory uh, exterior corridor you have the capability of doing that as well. As we move towards the inside of the trailer 
We've got a step system. Step system slides into our receiver system and the handrail drops into place, allowing you to have access to the front of the trailer. As we go on the inside, So here we are on the front part of the trailer, show you some of the features here. <clears throat> Got a large storage closet with adjustable shelves, great place for storing the decon team PPE, the suits, boots, gloves, Ken tape, the pappers, all those things are uh, easily stored in here and uh, ready at a moment's notice for the decon team. Up here we have the propane furnace. Uh, this provides nice warm air into the undress and the redress bays. Probably most important in the redress bays. Patients come out of the shower, they're wet, uh, they're cold. Gives them a nice place once you get the, the curtains all closed up, a nice warm place uh, to get dried off, get redressed to be able to exit the trailer. Down here, we've got the propane carbon monoxide detector system in place for safety. In here, we've got the lighting controls. <clears throat> These lighting controls control the, the interior. These are IP67 waterproof <coughs> fluorescent lights. We also have the 12 volt lighting system. We have individual controls uh, depending on what side of the trailer you want to have the lights on or if you want to have them on uh, the entire trailer, the entire way around the trailer. Also controls the furnace system as well as the, uh, the propane detection and CO detection system. Down here we have our breaker box for our 110 power supply. We also have our 12 volt power supply for running all the exterior lights. Down here on the bottom, we have a nice big storage closet. If you've got heavier items, items that you want to put on a shelf, you can put those down here or if you want to put wet boots or any of that type of stuff uh, down in this area. Uh, all waterproofed so you'll be, uh, be safe putting wet items in there. Over on this side, we have the water heater cabinet. Inside we have a flash heating 6.3 gallon per minute power vented uh, water heater. You know, it's power vented so you don't have to worry about flue gases building up in the water heater cabinet. Once again, this is also run on propane. Down on the bottom, we have individual controls to control the, the two shower heads on the interior as well as the shower system on the exterior. This is where you would get the system charged and then we have individual controls at each one of those uh, stations so that you can shut the water on and off without having to come back to uh, this, this cabinet. So the way that the patients would enter the trailer is from the rear. They come up the ramp, there's a hand, the handrail in place, they would step into the undress area. There's clips placed on the walls here. You can hook a bag in here and they can have a place to put their contaminated clothing. Got another hook on the other side that you can uh, put like a, like a Ziploc style bag and that would be a great place to put the valuables, the wallets, the watches, the car keys, the cell phones, those type of thing. And then those can be taken out and cataloged as, as the patient moves forward. Have a, an assistance bar here uh, for patients uh, that need help getting up and down. We have a chair, a shower chair in place here for them to sit down on so that they can assist uh, themselves in getting undressed. Then they would step into the shower area uh, close the curtains. There's a center divider curtain that comes down through the middle that isolates this into two separate shower um, areas. <clears throat> Have the on off switch on the shower head itself. They step into here, you've got a soap and shampoo system that the patient has access to so they can use, um, you know, they can dose out their own amount of shampoo and soap as needed. Assistance bar in here if they need help standing up while they're going through this process. So they get their, get their complete shower, then they're going to step through into the redress bay. Redress bay has a hook in place for holding uh, patient decontamination uh, receiving clothing. So if this is a Tyvek suit or if it's a, a gown or something like that, that can be hung in here and as a patient uses it, they can hang another one in here. An easy way to, to uh, be able to provide that to them without actually having to be in here if you don't need to. Assistance bar, shower chair, uh, and then once they're done, when they've gotten dressed, uh, then they can exit the trailer out through the, out through the front area. 
and uh, and be received by staff. <laughs> the trailer is designed for both ambulatory and non-ambulatory patients. So if you're going to do a non if you're going to do a non-ambulatory patient, all you do is take the curtains, you push them all the way to the front. They're completely out of the way. And then you can set your roller system up right down through the middle of the trailer. It gives plenty of room on either side if you want to have four attendants in there, two on either side to be able to do the non-ambulatory decontamination. And then we've got a nice wide door here. The patient would come off the roller system, be met right here by people, and then take them right to, uh, right to a gurney that you can have right, waiting right at the bottom of the stairs. So. Very uh, innovative system. A lot of time and energy has gone into developing this. Uh, a lot of uh, expertise has been um, has been sought in order to make this uh, a workable system. Uh, we've been building these systems now for two years. Every time we, we build one, we put some more innovation into it. We've got uh, um, quite a few of these units out in the field, and so we get feedback from our customers as to what they like and uh, what they would like to see improved on, and we take those things and, and take them back to the, uh, uh, the redesign. So I wanna thank you for your time, and if you have any questions, uh, we'd love to hear from you. Uh, phone number is uh, area code 307-221-5769. Thank you.